Excuse me. Excuse me. What do you do for a living? It's been one year since I started dropping the vlogs on TikTok. So I thought it'd be fitting to drop the next YouTube video on my one year anniversary of when I started being consistent with it. But for those of you who don't know me, I'm Rasik, Rasik Kaiser. I post my social media content usually on Instagram or TikTok focused on daily vlogs. But today we're gonna have that intimate FaceTime connection showing you my day in the life and exactly how I structured and created my routine. So maybe it can help you build yours as well. My eyes. so bright in here it's a little past 5 a.m. so let's go pray the first prayer of the day Ooh. I'm about to pass out here in the sink okay now I'm in the restroom or before Mudu which is essentially which is essentially cleaning cleaning parts of your body so I can get ready to pray okay so I just got done praying but this is actually the time that I do wake up. So let's fast forward two more hours. Alexa, so what time is it? It's 7.05 a.m. All right, it's been about two hours. I have work at 9 a.m. My espresso machine is broken. So I'm gonna go drink a Celsius so I can get some energy from it and also relieve some energy, if you know what I mean. Every morning I wake up and start by making my bed. I make it so perfect to where I would not want to jump back in and ruin it. I go to the restroom to brush my teeth. I use a tongue scraper, bare breath mouthwash, 3D Crest toothpaste, and an after brush whitening booster. I then wake myself up with a shower, then apply deodorant and body lotion. I'll put on clothes that I like in order to get after my day and feel more focused. Okay, now that I'm showered and dressed, now I apply the Durham Doctor approved skincare routine, which consists of about like five steps. This is Monday morning, I usually put my exfoliant on. So yeah, let's go through that. Don't ever let the dropper touch your face. All right, now we are an exfoliant. You only want to put this stuff on two times a week. Usually use cotton pads, but I'm out. So we're going to have to go with cotton balls today. Look at all that unclogged pores. I don't think you see it's like brown. Maybe it's just removing my skin color. Now we got to let it sit for about 10 minutes and then apply the moisturizer and sunscreen. Moisturizer. Pull it push up so we can avoid wrinkles. And one of the most important parts is sunscreen. This is the last portion. Make sure to put on your sunscreen. Since it is Monday morning, I like doing my Sunday reset now, which consists of just vacuuming and dusting. I usually dust every day because the cat hairs never rest. I also get my laundry organized in my room. I actually really enjoy doing laundry and having all clean clothes and just everything organized in the right way and then lighting a candle. I like having my bedroom and office in order and clean. I'm a firm believer of a clean environment is equal to a clean mind. All right, I'm running late for work. I don't know how, I literally work from home, but I need to make some breakfast. So we're gonna get some Dave's bagels and pair it up with some peanut butter powder. And then I'm gonna rush upstairs to get go get to work. <laughs> now that I'm done with the Monday morning routine, I usually take a step back and journal for a little while. I feel like writing down what I'm grateful for has really helped me grow as a person. Um, if there's one prayer I always ask God for is essentially to give me what's best for me. And I feel like my outlook on life and my quality of life has just improved ever since. So I'm gonna go ahead and start booting up the laptop so I can get ready for work. But if there's one question I get asked more than anything, it's- Excuse me, uh, do you mind if I ask, what do you do for a living? Oh yeah, I, uh, uh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I'm a software engineer. I studied computer science for the past four years. Um, I've been in the tech industry for about nine months now in the airline sector. Um, I work for one of the biggest airlines in the world. So whenever you see me traveling, I essentially get to do it for free, which is which is fun and a big reason to why I wanted to start working here. But my brown parents had other plans for me. They wanted me to become a doctor, but I ended up disappointing them and becoming an engineer instead. So they still hold that over me. So for most of the day, I'm either thinking in a meeting or coding, but the benefit to being a software engineer is that when you're not paired with someone, there's more freedom to get your work done on your own time.
During lunch, I made some eggs with turkey bacon and hash browns. I even have three special guests that occasionally pop in while I'm working. That cats also come by to code with me. Tinkerbell's at my feet, but this is Tiger for those of you who have not met him. Um, so yeah, they come chill whenever I am stressing at work. And they're great de-stressors, but Tiger's a really tired face so when I let him sleep again. It is 5 p.m. Now we rest. Wrong. We need to head to the gym. If there's one thing that's important within any routine, it's definitely got to be some sort of physical activity that keeps you in tip-top healthy shape. But we're going to start getting ready for the gym. Also, foot check before I change. Uh, pleated sweatpants, Nike socks, and Land Rover t-shirt. So just want to show you all before I end up wearing Gymshark or something. <laughs> It is golden hour. If you know me, you know I've always been acclimated to sports, but I used to play I used to play football back in high school up until high school and then ran track for a little bit too. And now uh, then I got fat and I started focusing on working out and then I started noticing I was balding and I'd rather be like bald and swole than bald and scrawny. That's why I started working out in the first place. But anyways, we're hitting legs today uh, with Rossi's BBO workout playlist. So we're gonna hit that BBO and get my glutes hefty and strong. Actually, it's uh, quad day, so quad quads and hams. So yeah, let's, let's get after it. We're done with the gym. I'm at Chipotle now. I'm a terrible cook, no doubt. I only know how to make ground turkey tacos, but outside of that, I just everything else just tastes mid. So we we're just getting Chipotle. Like I'm not dealing with that. Detail repping. I showered. I applied the nighttime skincare routine, and now we're gonna hop in bed and figure out what I'm gonna be watching tonight. Tiger usually joins me to come watch TV with me. There he is. All right, Tiger. What are we watching today? I'm watching so many shows right now. The Boys dropped, uh, Peaky Blinders dropped. I'm always watching anime, so right now I'm watching JoJo's. And then uh, what, Miss Marvel dropped? I'm trying to think if I'm forgetting anything. There's, there's too many shows to keep track, but I'm sure Tiger will figure it out. How are you feeling? But then I'm gonna catch up with Peaky Blinders and call it a night. <laughs> All right, so let's start up the TV and be watching Netflix. Tiger, are you, you okay with that? He seems fine with it. Not even, there we go, all right. Boom, let's fucking do this backwards. No, that's Spotify, it's very difficult to see from here. Netflix, all right, Peaky Blinders it is. So if you'll notice the thing about building a routine, it's essentially building a bunch of subset routines and combining them together. Whether, whether it's a Monday morning routine, whether it's a prayer routine, whether it's a skincare routine, and essentially fitting it to a schedule that works best for you. So I hope you guys enjoy tackling this Monday with me. Please go like and subscribe. I uh, would really appreciate it. And I know for everyone who's been waiting for this video, I hope I finally delivered. And here's to more YouTube videos down the road. See ya. Love ya. Bye.